So one of the hardest things with photography is actually posing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to take a picture from the internet, copy it, and take the perfect photo. Let's get it. Hey, what's up? I'm Omar Tsukori and I'm a full-time content creator and this channel is all about helping you take better photos. I just bumped into a person, it's all good. I'm sorry, man. But if you're into that, uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit that bell, be notified when I post videos on a weekly basis. So I'm here in LA with McKenna Got from Got Love and then we have Heather Torres from Homeschool House, uh, two awesome YouTube channels. And we're gonna just do some photos here in this cool kind of like urban area. It's called Play of Village. Play, Play Vista. Play of Vista. And uh, one thing that's super important, even being a video content creator, is to have good photos. So what we're actually doing right now, I've given them the, uh, the time frame to find some pictures they want. Yes. Um, so I went on Pinterest and according to like what my outfit was today, I Pinterest searched leather jacket photos. And I know us girls are always trying to copy photos that we see online. Omar is gonna help us with that. Yeah, I did the same. I searched female lifestyle photography and then I did like McKenna did and searched what I was wearing. So I said black shirt and jean jacket and other lifestyle photographers have uh, created images and we are going to copy those images. And just the power tip, I think uh, when it comes to clothes and colors, you wanna make sure that you are shooting the colors on the right thing. Well, let's get into it with Heather first. You're up, let's right. get it. So the first photo that Heather chose was a, uh, a picture of a girl who is, you can see, kind of like holding her purse and she's looking away smiling and her hair's kind of blowing and she's on the road. And now what's cool about this, as a photographer, I have the ability to now take a better image than the one she actually took, which is just a power tip for your client. Like, if you take a better photo than the one they showed you, then that's actually gonna make them more pumped. They're like, dude, this guy's even better than this guy who's on the internet or girl. And so use that as an opportunity if you see a flaw. In this image, I actually see that she is not centered on the street. And you can use symmetry. Uh, using roads to kind of get that uh, nice shot because it's nice to the eye when you take a centered uh, shot using roads. So let's go try this out and get uh, some shots. A lot of times when you tell a client to kind of like stand, they're usually not exactly saying where you want them to. Don't start shooting until you get them where you want them. So right now, Heather isn't centered. I'm centered with this road. So if you get right behind me, you can see that she's kind of off centered. So Heather, you can center yourself up. So now she is centered with this whole thing. I'm gonna shoot kind of up and at her. And because, the, you know, that one she had wind going in her hair, I'm just gonna have Heather look down to the right, look down to her right, fake laugh, and then she's just gonna whip her hair. That action alone is probably gonna make her actually laugh, and then I'm gonna shoot it. <laughs> Sick. Super fun. Oh, that's cute. So once you get the shot that you you know intended to shoot and get out for, you can obviously, I'm gonna take this time to actually move around. This is a cool little vibe spot. There's type of places to sit. So I'm just gonna use this area literally to probably get 10 to 15 more images. So we got some awesome shots of Heather sitting, standing, crossing the street. Uh, and just a power tip, use, use props. You know, if, if Heather crossed the street just with nothing, it, I mean, that's cool, but we wanted to definitely do like a business entrepreneur kind of vibe. So just adding that laptop element uh, just gave that off in the image. And so now we're with McKenna, who has picked out a few stuff. So as we can see in this picture, this might've been used for like magazine or blog or something, you can tell. But I think the, the key thing is that it's shot at an angle. So we're just gonna hit up the kind of like the same vibe and get the angle and see if we can achieve this same look. One mistake I actually made with shooting Heather is I didn't I didn't turn my camera both, uh, both ways. Uh, whenever you have a good spot, like I think this is a good spot, just hit it up landscape and portrait. So, you know, the use now of stories is huge and being able to upload vertical images, you almost want to prioritize it um, over landscape, but still hit landscape and portrait. So there you have it, just a 
couple of shots. This is a simple thing that you can just add to the multiplicity of things when you go onto a shoot, you know, taking consideration like uh, location ideas or uh, outfit ideas, but necessarily like posing, I'm not too strong at, to be honest with you. And what I find is I just tell people to kind of engage, you know, kind of just act natural, just kind of be in their element. I'm not, I'm not huge on like pose images, but you can kind of use poses to kind of get people in that engagement mode. So like use the positioning of an of a image you find on Pinterest or something, and then, you know, go from there type thing. So it's just a good reference point. So question for you, what part of a photography session shooting people do you have the most struggle with? Put it in the comments below. Let's start a conversation. I'm usually pretty good at commenting back. And also if you're interested in more photography tips and tutorials and just how to take better images, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for hanging out today. I'll see you in the next video. Keep smashing it.